my Bible friends. Book 6, Elijah in the Time of No Rain King Ahab was a wicked king. He set up idols of Baal and altars of Baal along the paths in the woods. Pray to Baal, he said to the people. Baal sends the rain to make your fields and gardens grow. King Ahab built a beautiful temple. He placed the ugly idol of Baal in the temple. Pray to Baal, he said. Baal sends the rain. Prophet Elijah looked down from the mountains where he lived in a little house built of stones. He saw the temple of Baal. It made him weep. God came near and talked with Prophet Elijah. I will teach the king and the people that it is I, the Lord, who sends the rain, not the idol Baal. Go tell King Ahab, he said, that there will be neither dew nor rain until the people of Israel turn away from idols. Down the mountainside hurried Prophet Elijah, across the valley to the king's palace, past the king's soldiers. Elijah did not stop until he stood before King Ahab. As the Lord God lived, he told the king, there shall be neither dew nor rain until the people of Israel turn away from idols. Then Prophet Elijah quickly left the king's palace. God whispered to him, Hide yourself beside the brook Sherit. Catch Elijah! Stop him! shouted the king. Don't let him get away. But Elijah was already gone. The soldiers ran in all directions to find him. They went to his mountain home, but Elijah was not there. They hunted for him in the fields, but Elijah was not there. Even King Ahab joined in the search, but no one could ever find Prophet Elijah. Elijah hid beside the brook Sherit. He drank the clear, cool water of the brook. Every morning, after the sun came up, and every evening, before the sun went down, God sent ravens to bring him food. Many, many days Elijah lived beside Brook Cherit. The wild creatures became his friends. Because there was no rain, the grass turned brown, the leaves fell from the trees, and there was no grain to harvest. Finally, the Brook Cherit dried up, and there was no water for Elijah to drink. But God did not forget him. God never forgets. Go to the city of Serapath, he told Elijah. I have commanded a widow who lives there to give you food and water. The widow of Serapath was searching for wood near the city gate when Prophet Elijah came by. Elijah asked her for a drink and some bread, said the widow. I have only a handful of meal and a little oil. I am gathering two sticks to bake the last loaf of bread for me and my boy. After that, we must die. Fear not, said Elijah. Make me a little cake, for God has said that the meal shall not lack, nor the oil fail until the day he sends rain. The widow baked a little cake for Prophet Elijah and drew him a drink from the well. She gave him a room in the loft of her home, and it happened as God had said. Every morning, there was a handful of meal in her barrel, and a little oil in her goose, enough for the day's loaf of bread, and God sent water in the well. So during the time of no rain, the widow, the boy, and Elijah had bread to eat and water to drink. Three years of no rain went by. Then one day, God said to Prophet Elijah, Go, show yourself unto King Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. 
Back to the land of Israel went prophet Elijah. He met King Ahab on a path. The king frowned at him. Is it you, you troubler of Israel? I have not troubled Israel, said Elijah. You have, because you turned away from God. Gather all the people of Israel to me on Mount Carmel, commanded Elijah, and all the prophets of Baal. King Ahab did, as prophet Elijah said, all the people of Israel and all the prophets of Baal gathered together on Mount Carmel. This day, Elijah would prove who was the true God. Let us build two altars, said Elijah, one to the Lord and one to Baal. Let us place wood on the altars and an offering upon the wood. The God who answers by fire, He is God. All the people answered, It is well spoken. The prophets of Baal built their altar. They placed wood on the altar and an offering upon the wood. They prayed to Baal from morning until noon. O Baal, hear us, hear us, O Baal. There was no answer. They cried louder and louder. They lifted and they jumped around the altar. They cut themselves. Still, there was no answer. When it was evening, Elijah said to the people, Come near unto me. And they came near. He built the altar of the Lord and dug a ditch around it. He placed wood on the altar and an offering upon the wood. Then water was poured over the altar. It ran down and filled the ditch. The people watched and waited. Looking toward heaven, Elijah prayed, O Lord God, let it be known this day that Thou art God. Almost before Elijah could say Amen, Fire flashed down from heaven like lightning. It burned up the offering. It burned up the wood. It even burned up the stones of the altar and the water in the ditch. All the people shouted, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. God heard them and was pleased. That night, he sent a great rain to water the earth.